Eventually, Hammond's escape pod was free. And he was able to join us for the getting into a wetsuit in a motorhome test. Yes, I'll get changed in my contemplation zone. Lovely job. Unsurprisingly, it was much harder in the Lotus. Ow! Ow! But surprisingly, even harder in Hammond's land cottage. I um, have had to leave some of the panels at the campsite, well, all of them, pretty much. And that um, has sort of compromised privacy, rather. Yeah, they're not going to go, are they? I sort of, um, if I maybe. No. Um. I've had a very clever idea, I think. I do, of course, have my escape chute, which leads directly into the back seat of the car. It's a way of moving between the car and the bedding area without having to get outside if it's raining, for example. So when I've got the bottom half on, I'm going to exit and enter the car and then slip into the top bit down there where I can sit up. Hammond, meanwhile, had abandoned the Land Rover and stolen a child's tent. OK. OK. I'm not sure that the escape chute actually works. Hang on a minute. Oh. I, might have, I might have got my shoulders stuck. But just several hours later, my colleagues were ready. It's cold. It's really cold. It's not going to get any warmer. Well, just give it a couple of months, it might. Well, come on. Well, what, all right, what do we do? Without wishing to boast, I know. I mastered surfing very quickly. Oh, lovely. That's the easiest thing I've ever done. But for some reason, the other two kept trying to stand up. Nose on the tail, hands on the rail. I'm surfing. <laughs> They were so engrossed in this idiocy, they failed to spot an incoming problem. James, we've got to get out. No. Oh, I almost got up. You got it. What? The cars. Ah. Oh, right. James and Richard rushed to their cars and legged it, whereas I decided to get changed where I was. Ah. Jeez. Which went well. Ah. No! Yes, come on, Hasselhoff. That wasn't tense. Our next challenge was to cook a three-course meal in our motorhomes, using whatever ingredients we could find at a nearby petrol station. Sit rep. Don't like driving my Citroen. Don't like sleeping in my Citroen. Almost certainly won't like cooking in it either. Plus, getting to the petrol station meant taking some back roads. Whoa! What the hell's that? Well, it was a tree, but now... <laughs> tree? That was a big one, Jeremy. That was a... Oh, oh, no! Having pruned most of Cornwall, we finally arrived. Oh, my God. No, 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 no! No, now, now I have crashed into a petrol station. 